Hey guys, I thought I'd talk you through a new feature uh, which has just been added to Simple Radio, which is support for channels. So that means both fixed channels, um, as in in the Nimic 21 and a few other cockpits and other radios, uh, you have the option to select a specific channel. Uh, and it also supports uh, preset channels that you can load into the radio for FC3 aircraft and other non-cockpit radios. So as always to update, you just open up the installer and hit install slash update. So that will automatically update any version of Super Radio you have, or if you haven't got it installed, that will install it. So let me get that ready. Okay, so we jump into a cockpit. Uh, you'll now see on the overlay this C0, which represents channel zero. And this also works on the in-game DCS overlay as well. So just to show you where this comes from, uh, on the Mi-21, here's your channel selector. And if we just cycle through these, we'll see the numbers changing on the radio as well. So that's that. Um, this is also supported on radios that have optional channels, such as on the A10C. So if we jump in an A10, So here's your UHF radio, uh, the options are manual, preset and guard, so we run it on preset and you'll see immediately it's jumped to channel 1 which is indicated here and this knob is a bit hard to see but there you go, you go through these all the way to 20, there we go, so you can see it on the radio overlay and on the uh, simple radio overlay. Um, and if we go back to manual, obviously that will then stop being in channel mode. So this will be quite useful, I think, for people um, that don't notice that it's in uh, preset mode and think the radio is not working, which is very easy to do in the Mirage because by default the radio is in preset mode. So if I go over to the Mirage radio, you know what? So, by default, there he is, channel 7, channel 8, channel 9, channel 10, uh, because it's in P, well, preset. So, you put an M for manual, and now we can change the frequencies on here. There we go. Uh, so, for FC3 radios, um, or any expansion radio, as I already said, the presets are loaded from a file. So the file has to be named after the name of the radio. So I've just jumped in a, a 109 because this has, or this server I'm currently connected to, has expansion radios on. So you'll see here the expansion radios, which are the sort of added extra ones, uh, are ANARC186V and ANARC164UHF. So if I wanted to have preset frequencies for this radio, regardless of the aircraft I'm in, so if that radio is on there, I go and make a text file and I call it after the name of the radio. So ANARC 164 UHF. So I change that one. We will add some frequencies which we've done. So you literally just put frequencies in one after the other and hit reload. And there we go. There are our channels. So there are hotkeys you can set. Uh, to cycle through these and obviously changing any of these frequencies here takes you off the preset frequency mode. So the name of the file doesn't have to match exactly so we can change that to be that and we can make all this lower case and we can remove all the spaces and that will still uh, just add the frequency to make sure it is working um, that should still match. Yep, there we go. And there's our new frequency we just added.
So this list is automatically loaded um, whenever you jump in an aircraft that has a matching radio to the file. So if we now uh, jump in an F-15, uh, which has two of these UHF radios, named UHF-1 and UHF-2, let's do that, so we've got that, 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 and now jump in an F-15, Uh, you'll see ANARC 164 UHF-1, ANAC UHF-1, and there we go. And there's our list of radios. So there are a whole bunch of key bindings now you can control. So if we go in here and set uh, radio up, and I'll just find a bug, I'll fix that. Radio channel up and radio channel down, not encryption key down. You'll see that the radio cycles. When I press these buttons, I'll go fix that radio before release, uh, and that's about it really. So you can reload this at any time if you change the file. Uh, it always has to be reloaded when you jump in the aircraft, and uh, it's also supported on the AWACS panel, uh, which I don't know if you guys have really seen much. So if we jump into a observer slot. There we go. So this is the AWACS panel. Uh, you can also type in here, which I don't think anyone really knows. And again, the frequencies are here. So this radio is just called UHF guard, and obviously it will apply to all of the UHF guard radios, but that's kind of okay, because we can just have a bunch of channels. Let's call that UHF guard. Reload, and there we go. So there's actually no limit on the number of frequencies you can put in this file, uh, but don't go too crazy, it just could take too long cycling through. And it will automatically select, or well, automatically throw away frequencies that don't fit within the range for the radio. So the range for the radio uh, can always be found for each radio, and the name, sorry, can always be found through here. So there's a new section now, which is help, which just has a bunch of information about stuff. Uh, there's the known bug, which is pressing Alt-L will cause lag. You just have to press left shift, left Alt-L, and then that magically fixes it. And here is the full list of frequencies that you require. Um, so there's all the aircraft, there's all the radio names, there's all the frequency limits. Um, there's also what kind of controls each aircraft has, uh, green being no hotkey, uh, obviously FC3 having all the hotkeys. And again, a point not many people may know is the fact that uh, at the top of the radio here it will say what controls you require to control the radio. So this is hot as controls because uh, we're just FC3. And if we jump into a MiG-21, We'll say hot as controls because we have expansion radios turned on. Um, if we jump into a what's got three radios? Oh, Huey. Okay. Couple of controls. So might as well walk here quickly just show you preset channels on the Huey. So turn that one up, and then there's your preset channels right there. About it. So yeah, so there's a new feature. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have any bugs or any issues.